I am S. Anmalu, Associate Professor of Department of EC. I am going to handle signals and systems for second year EC A and B during the academic year 2019-20. This is my profile. I have 11 years of teaching experience, one year industry. I handled subjects like embedded systems, microcontroller applications, digital signal processing, microprocessors interfacing, electronic devices and circuits, microprocessors, microcontrollers, VLSI, signals and systems, signals and stochastic process. I handled 25 UG projects and 7 PG projects. I worked in various positions like UG coordinator, PG coordinator, mentor, academic coordinator, department coordinator, timetable in charge. I attended workshops at BMS College of Engineering and Vardhaman College of Engineering. I attended some uh, workshops or FDPs at IIIT Hyderabad which is called Certificate in Information Technology. I have conducted or I can say I have organized ARM7 workshop, PCB design workshop at Hitam. I have L board certificate in enhanced in the program conducted by IIIT which is enhanced edu certificate in information technology as a mentor. IGIP phase 1 and phase 2 certifications by IUCE, OBE certification by IUCE and KLE Tech. Trainings conducted as a resource person. I, I have I was a resource person during the FOACS free and open source software workshop which I attended CMR set. In one of the sessions I was a resource person for Octave software practical sessions. I have memberships in professional bodies like life member in IST. Next coming to the course, my course signals and systems. There are four CEOs given by university itself in the syllabus. I took I took them as it is and I have added one more CEO to that. Totally there are five CEOs. Coming to the syllabus, there are five units. Among these five units, unit one is introduction to signal and systems. We will discuss about different types of signals. What are the operations which we are going to perform on the signal? We will discuss in detail about orthogonality concept. We will see. We will also identify how, uh, when, how, and when the given two signals are going to become orthogonal. We will also discuss about elementary signals. It's uh, their definitions, relationship, etc. In the unit one. Unit 2 and Unit 4 will help us or in, in Unit 2 and Unit 4 we will learn how to convert a signal from its time domain into various other domains like frequency domain, S domain and Z domain using different uh, transformation techniques. We will discuss about all such kind of uh, uh, things in unit 2 and unit 4 which will help us to convert the signal from time domain to other domains and we can analyze the signal in that domain. Unit 3 is about signal transmission through linear system. We will discuss in detail about LTI systems. Linear time invariant LTI means. So here we are going to learn or here, here we are going to discuss about the filter characteristics system response and uh, frequency response of a given system. In unit 5 we are going to uh, discuss about sampling theorem. How to get a sampled signal from a continuous in time signal and reconstruct it back using uh, different uh, conditions. We will also discuss about correlation, cross correlation, auto correlation, properties of such correlations, and then uh, power spectral density and energy, energy spectral density of a uh, signal. There are two textbooks prescribed by the university Signal Systems and Communications by B. Bilati, Signals and Systems by A. V. Oppenham. There are five references uh, also given in the same syllabus 
given by university apart from this uh, i suggest uh, students or the followers to use to follow signals and systems by dr j s chitod and one more textbook signals and systems by ramesh babu we house we also have one more famous author signals and systems by anand kumar also you can follow any of these textbooks which i mentioned now coming to the prerequisite university said there is no prerequisite for this subject in the syllabus but i feel that mathematics is a prerequisite of course for all engineering subjects mathematics is a prerequisite but for this subject as i said is in order to solve the questions which are going to appear in the final examination mathematical formulas are must without that we cannot proceed 95% of the questions which you are going to uh, uh, solve in the examination are problems only so i feel that these integration and differentiation trigonometric formulas are very much re required and you need to brush up on these different formulas so i have shared these formulas as a handouts pdf three pdfs i have shared in the classroom in the class at uh, which i created in edmodo that's all for today thanks for watching for more videos subscribe to my channel thank you